Introductory Note to Buddhist Writings This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information, or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Recording by Leon Meyer Buddhist Writings Translated by Henry Clark Warren Introductory Note Siddhartha Gautama, known as Buddha, the Awakened, was the son of the ruler of Shakyaland, a region lying to the northeast of Aud, in northern India. The date of his birth is placed about 557 B.C. He was born a warrior prince, but at the age of twenty-nine, after having married and had a son, he determined to renounce the world. Abandoning his family and possessions, he gave himself up to asceticism and concentration of thought, under the direction of masters of this discipline. After seven years, he concluded that this method brought him no nearer to the wisdom he sought as a means of escaping rebirth into a life which he had not found worth living, and for a time he tried starvation and self-torture. This also availed him nothing. When, suddenly, sitting under the sacred fig tree at Bodhigaya, he became illumined and saw the great truths. Henceforth he was Buddha. Gautama's first aim had been merely his own salvation, but moved by pity for mankind, he resolved to bestow on others the four great truths and the eightfold path. Beginning his ministry at Benares, he converted first five monks who had previously been his fellows in asceticism, then many of the noble youth of the city, then a thousand Brahmin priests. The rest of his life was spent in wandering about and preaching his new creed, which spread with extraordinary rapidity. He died not far from his native region about the year 477 B.C. The foregoing outline selects what seemed the most reliable main elements in a biography which has naturally become saturated with legend of later growth. The teaching of Buddha, so similar in its pessimistic view of life, to that of the Book of Ecclesiastes, is amply represented in the following writings. End of Introductory Note